today what i'm going to show you is a new free claude mcp ai super agent using something called apple script mcp server and what this allows you to do let me show you don't tell you so we're going to go over to claude over here and if we type in a command for example open up safari and go to apple.com so that's the command that we're giving this and we're going to use the mcp server that's completely free inside claude desktop we'll hit enter and this super agent is now going to start using apple script and, and is navigating to apple.com i'm not touching anything literally just give it the commands and it can do anything locally on your mac pretty much it's absolutely wild so let me show you exactly how to install this, how to set it up, etc. What you're going to be using to install this is number one, you need to have Claude Desktop set up. You can easily just get that. You just type in Claude Desktop and then you can download that on your laptop. And then from there, what you can do is you can start using Apple Script. Now, this is designed for Mac, so make sure you're on a Mac to be able to use this. And it's really simple and easy. So Essentially, the way that I would recommend installing it is number one, make sure you've got Node.js set up, and then you're going to copy this into your MCP settings. So, let me show you an example of how to do this, right? So, you, I've actually got this inside the AI Success Lab link in the comments description, free training. You're not going to pay for that or anything like this. You can just get free access. And then, what you're going to do is once you've opened up Claude Desktop, from here, you're going to go to Claude Settings, and inside your settings, Go to developer and edit the config. So this is your MCP config file. If we click on edit config, that's actually going to show us an example MCP setup. So you can see the file right here. You're going to open that with, I would recommend using text edits. It's the simplest. And then you can insert the MCP details over here. Now, when you're using this, you've got the copy and paste instructions for you here inside the free ai success lab again you're not going to pay for this before anyone starts saying it's paid or whatever and then you can just replace username with whatever your laptop's username is right so for example for me on my mac it's julian goldie so i put users forward slash julian goldie forward slash desktop and then inside the config file that's all set up you literally just copy and paste it type in your username on your mac and then the key thing to do here is you're going to save that config file and you need to make sure you restart Claude. The reason you want to restart is because otherwise the MCP will not be recognized. Now, if you need like really in-depth detailed reports on like how to set up MCPs, I've got training inside the AR Profit Boardroom and that sort of thing if you're struggling or need any support along the way. But essentially, that's how simple it is. And then from here, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff inside Claude and you just tell it what to do and it goes off and does it, right? So it's basically, I don't know if anyone here has tried, for example, Manus or anything like that, but essentially it's very similar to that, right? So for example, we can take one of these. So let's say, create a new note titled meeting minutes with today's note, or show me all files in my downloads file folder for the past week. Let's take that one, right? Cause that's a bit of a complicated search. I wouldn't know how to filter on Mac to do that, but I'm sure the AI does. So we're going to take, an example like so we'll paste in that prompt then we're going to go into here just click enter and it's going to call on the apple script mcp like you can see it's setting the filters for the current date we just have to allow this and let's see what happens yeah it pulls up look at that so it's pulling up all the files from the past week inside claude how crazy is that so you can see here it said i'll show you all the files inside your downloads folder from the past week let me run an apple script to get this information so you can see the code snippet right there using the free mcp you're not paying for this or anything like that and then if we scroll down it's like right here are all the files in your downloads folder from the past week live stream jpegs etc now if claude launches and they've got this sort of functionality already with claude 3.7 i don't know where the future goes from here because this is one of the craziest things i've ever seen it's absolutely amazing what you can do and what i love about this is the simplicity and how easy it is you don't need to use terminal you don't need to be like some crazy coder it's not going to take hours to figure it out and set it up you literally just go into your mcp settings you paste in that code you restart allow access and then boom shakalaka you're off to the races my friend all right let's do another one we'll say what's my current battery percentage now 
I just want to warn you here before I forget as well. Just be careful here because obviously if you're installing and allowing AI to run locally, particularly with a GitHub repository, I'm the human guinea pig for you, right? I'm the guinea pig trying all this stuff, testing this stuff. But the thing is, you have to be careful with this stuff. Don't put it on a laptop where, you know, you've got sensitive documents or high security stuff or something that you don't want around, right? You have to be careful when you're using AI locally. So just want to warn you there because I'm an ethical man. And then what we're going to say here is what's my current battery percentage? We'll hit enter. I don't know if that's going to work. I've not tested these prompts. Like some of this stuff is just wild. But let's have a look and see what we get back. We're going to allow that. So it's allowing access to control system events. Again, use this safely. Use this carefully. If you're ever in doubt, don't use it, etc. And you can see here it says your battery is currently at 100% fully charged. So just to recap on this, what are you using? You're using Claude Desktop and you're using the MCP from Apple Script, right? It's available on a Mac, Apple Script MCP server. You can set up with Python. You can set it with Node. How do you set it up? You just paste this code into your MCP settings. Just go to Claude Desktop, go to Claude, go to Fire Claude Settings, Developer, and then edit the config and insert the MCP code inside there, right? Where'd you get the code from? Free link in the comments and description to the AI Success Lab, completely free. All right. And then you're using Apple Script MCP to basically run code to interact with your Mac, right? It's absolutely wild. I can't believe how crazy this is, how easy it is to use. It's pretty wild. I might disable the MCP after this video just to be careful, but you can see how powerful this is. Let's have a look what else we've got here. So we can say list all the currently running applications on my Mac. And what I like about this as well, I've never seen this before, is like it can pull in information that's going directly, information and applications that are happening directly inside your laptop. Right. So, for example, it knows my battery percentage. It knows what files I've got downloaded. Right. It knows, for example, how to open up Safari and navigate to apple.com. I'm pretty sure if you told it, go to amazon.co.uk and start using that and start shopping for me, it probably would. <laughs> it's, just, it's pretty wild. So let's try another one. Here we go. See if it works. So far, it hasn't let me down. The crazy thing about this is usually when I use even paid MCPs, they let me down or they break or whatever. Right. So you can see here now, it's, here's all the currently running applications on your Macs. So you've got Google Chrome, Claude, Text Expander, Finder, Streamlabs, Desktop, and Safari. These are all the applications that are currently active and running on your system. I've never seen an MCP or any sort of AI that's had la that level of awareness in terms of what's going on and can actually communicate it to you, right? It's wild stuff. It's wild. And like, obviously, these are simple use cases, but obviously as well, you could come up with more ideas, right? So for example, if you said, okay, tell me how much free space to have on my main drive. And then you asked it to find you, okay, what are the opportunities for deleting files, removing them, etc.? Then you could easily do that as well. So let's try that inside Claude again. We'll go inside here, we'll enter, and we'll see what we got. So it actually tells us the percentage use, etc., as well. And it says, here's the storage information for your main drive, 926 gigabytes, use 10 gigabytes, free 95 gigabytes, percentage use 10%, right? So you have 95 gigabytes free space available on your main drive with only 10% of the total capacity being used. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like you can use applications, you can check files for you, you can check your battery percentage, all sorts of things. The more you use it, the more you're going to understand, okay, what are the actual use cases for it. Now, the other thing here as well is that we can actually go into the settings inside Claude. If you've never done this before, it's pretty wild as well. So if we go inside Claude and you're, you're using like normal MCPs, right, on the browser. Let me show you how this works. So if we go to my settings, then we're going to scroll down on the profile section and you can see we've got these tools connected, right? So I can actually link Zapier MCPs and I can link PayPal MCPs. So PayPal MCP is free to use, right? You just add a custom integration. I've got other videos on that if you just search on YouTube. And then essentially if we go into a new chat here and we'll like, okay, create an invoice using the PayPal MCP to juliangoldie.com for $500 for link built in, right? And then we just have to answer these. I'm just going to say, okay, figure it out or add dummy information. And then it's going to use the PayPal MCP like you can see right here. And again, you can link this to Zapier. I've got other videos on it and essentially with, this, with Zapier and stuff like that. 
you can easily like just you can quite easily for example plug in information about any sort of apps you have access to right so that could be for example using wordpress or using chat gpt inside claude etc right and then you just need to add your paypal email address and then from there you can start generating invoices with paypal or connected to zapier or whatever you want right so the mcp as you can see right here this methodology of using mcps is making claude like a super agent way more powerful than chat gpt you can connect to pretty much anything and it's so easy and powerful to use right so easy to install i've, I've shown you literally it's just copy and paste boom you can't really go wrong if you have any problems then i would just paste it into for example into claude and say here's the error right and screenshot it if you do have any problems as well if you're struggling with a claude desktop or anything like that you can actually use the details right here on how to set up node.js and mcp tools inside there i've included the resources inside the ai success lab so you can get free access to all that stuff but yeah essentially that's how it works right so let's see what other example prompts we could test out here all right so take a screenshot of my entire screen and save it to desktop We'll try that. So it's again calling on the MCP, and that one it seems to actually struggle with. Oh, we've got to allow settings. That's why. So I'm just going to allow that inside Claude. So let's allow this. There we go. And then we just have to quit and reopen Claude to be able to use it. So let's try that. We'll just go back into Claude now. Here we go. And then we'll try exactly the same prompt again. See if this works now. So we're going to start a new chat. I like the fact as well that it knows exactly when to use Apple Script as well. So it doesn't seem to get confused, etc. There we go. So it's using Apple Script. And then it's taken a screenshot of the entire screen, right? And if we pull this up, this is the screenshot that it took. So it took it on my other screen, to be fair. But yeah, you can see an example of what it took, how it did it, etc. So that's basically how it works. You can take screenshots, you can interact with your laptop. It's the only app and MCP that I've ever seen do this before, and it is incredibly easy to set up. Let's try some other stuff now. All right, so we've tried taking a screenshot. You can also create reminders, set up calendar invites, set up new notes, etc. as well. Check your battery percentage. You could check through your email inbox as well if you wanted to. List your applications. Play a focus playlist as well. Take screenshots find phone numbers like it's crazy what you can do let's try another one just basic stuff right so if i say open apple.com and research the latest ai news so it's going to use safari as a default for that so opening up safari here and then we just need to allow it to control our laptop so let's try again and it manages to open up safari it didn't find the latest ai news but actually use this web search feature inside claude to pull that information up so stuff like googling actually doesn't seem to be that great but for just interacting with your laptop directly it is free to set up and it's easy to use so thanks so much for watching if you want to get all of the example instructions the setup process etc feel free to get that inside the ai success lab link in the comments description it is free to get access to you see some example prompts plus all the notes plus the code to copy and paste and the setup instructions also inside here comes with a community of 5,900 members and also my latest SAPs and templates and if you want more support more help etc then I would recommend the AI profit boardroom this is an amazing community focused on making money saving time and helping you learn AI to scale your business right link in the comments and description inside the community here you can post any questions that you have we have a really active community this is a much more supportive and active community so if you ask questions inside the ai profit boardroom you're going to get answers support etc which you wouldn't get inside the ai success lab pretty much no one answers questions in there and then also it comes with weekly coaching support etc and we have way more courses and training inside there that's much more organized so feel free to get that link in the comments and description to the ai profit boardroom